that Hapalopus species Columbian large female from two videos ago that was in a death curl but kinda recovered. Unfortunately, she died. And no, despite that there is a lot of comments saying uh, why you didn't put a water dish, she was dehydrated because there was no water dish, you need to have water dish with your tarantulas, yada yada yada. She didn't die because there wasn't a water dish inside of her enclosure. She died from some other causes that I will actually explain you everything what happened since the since I showed her in two videos ago. But I will also return to the topic of water dish after I explained you everything what happened. So, you know that like two weeks ago I found her in a death curl and it seemed like she was dehydrated even though her enclosure was regularly misted. I explained all of that in previous video, I will link it in the description. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out for the complete context. But yeah, uh, I flipped her over, I gave her a few drops of water and it seemed like she was, she recovered or at least that she was recovering. She still refused to eat, but she was no longer in a dead curl. But then I noticed some other weird things that were going on. She was keeping her, her abdomen in the air and she was moving it kind of weirdly, almost like she was trying to poop, but she didn't manage to. And therefore, together with the fact that when I flipped her over first time, I noticed that there is some white stuff. I mean, the bottom of her abdomen was kind of whitish. Together with that fact, it made me think that she might must be com comes to comes to get constigated constipated yeah that's the word i know that constigated sound weirdly but yeah it made me think that she got that problem and i tried to solve that situation because also later i noticed that around her spinnerets there were more white stuff that looked kind of like poop but not really i'm not sure what it was i mean it definitely was poop but poop shouldn't be there. So I thought that maybe her anus is blocked with dried poop and I decided to take her and take a moist napkin and just try to work with that. Hopefully that that moisture from the napkin will help break loose the, the dried poop if there was a blockage caused by a dried poop. And I was doing all of that with my bare hands. I was kind of afraid that she will bite me, but there was no other way to do that besides holding her and just trying to do it somehow. I mean, it was first time that I was doing something like that, so I really didn't know how to approach the situation, but she was probably already really weak, but I noticed that it was almost like she, is, she knows that I'm trying to help her out and she just let me do whatever. She didn't even try to bite or wiggle too much. At start she tried to wiggle it out, but after a while she stopped moving like that and she just let me do my business, whatever that business was. But unfortunately with wet napkin, it seems like there wasn't any results with that. There wasn't any change or anything. So I decided to take a different approach. I took a small cup, filled it up with water and then just dip her abdomen inside of that cup, hoping that if I keep her long enough like that, uh, the water will break down the poop and make it a bit looser, but also that didn't have any effect, at least I couldn't spot any progress. So let me just drink <laughs> this tea. Remember when I used to drink tea in videos? That was a long time ago, in the old, old dark den. So where was I? Since dipping her abdomen in the water didn't show any results, I decided to once again change the tactic. I took this type of lid and filled it up with water, kinda, and then I put that lid inside of her enclosure and put her with her abdomen in the water inside of her enclosure. That way, uh, hopefully she will stay inside for a longer period of time and that will help then. I went home hoping that next day when I come here there will be some sort of progress, but of course next day there wasn't any, at least I didn't spot any. So I decided to try out with the, the tweezers, seeing if I can maybe pull something from her anus or anything like that. I didn't, I just wanted to help her out somehow because it was certain that she got some sort of blockage. At first she was also wiggling and trying to resist, but then she just let go and let me do whatever. But I was afraid that 
I will damage something that I will maybe pull some of her. You know, tarantulas have at least this species. I'm not sure if that is universal for every tarantula, but they have like uh, those bigger spinnerets that you can visually see easily. And then under them, you have like small spinnerets that, that also help with making web and stuff. So they were also covered with poop, dried out poop. So I was afraid that I will accidentally pull those spinnerets thinking that it is something else. So, so I didn't really pull hard. But at some point it seemed like I there was something inside. But I wasn't certain if I will hurt her if I pull harder. So I didn't pull harder. Maybe that was a mistake, I'm not sure. So I stopped with it and decided to put her in this enclosure. Also you see I put a moist napkin inside and just hope that that will help with the situation. But after she was inside for one day, or actually two days. Yeah, she was inside for two days. And then I found her in a dead curl, but this time she was actually dead, not dying. So there's that. Unfortunately, there is no happy end to this story, but I would like to cut her abdomen and check if there is actually something inside of her abdomen that shouldn't be there. Unfortunately, she died three days ago, so hopefully I will be able to spot something inside if it's not too late, because I wasn't, haven't been able to record this video earlier. So yeah, should we do that first, or should we talk about water dishes? Well, let's do that, and then we will talk about water dishes. And I have one good news in regards to one mantis, but I will show that at the end of the video. Also, by the way, I didn't even realize we are using this light setup for the first time. I know that you can see this bright part now, but hopefully you don't mind that. Yeah. Let's see if we can figure stuff out and in the spot. Felix, let's do this now. Can you see this white stuff on her like that? And also here. Those weren't there when she died. Those are in fact uh, eggs from gnats. Those are the small like flies that are flying around. They're so annoying. And you see this white dot that is traveling? That is a mite. Crazy how this goes down so fast and those gnats and mites can find a dead animal so fast. Crazy, uh, let's cut her open. Let's see if we can figure stuff out. I don't know, I pulled something suspicious out that seems like it shouldn't be there, it is kind of hard, but honestly it could be anything, I don't know. She is too small for me to figure that stuff out, so I will leave it at this. At least I checked, gonna need to bury her outside. Okay, water dish, right? Let's talk about water dish. And if we really need a water dish inside of tarantulas enclosures. In my honest opinion, I believe that tarantulas, they don't need water dishes inside of her enclosure. But it is good to have them. Tarantula can at any time go and drink. If you don't provide water dishes and only rely on misting like I do for majority of my enclosures, then tarantula cannot really drink at any time, but that is how it is in the nature. In nature, of course, tarantulas don't have access to water dishes or anything like that. Water dishes are good to have, they are a good fail-safe if something goes wrong, but they are not a necessity. For example, with slings, basically no one uses water dishes because they are so tiny and when you have them in small cups like this, like majority of keepers are keeping their slings, then you cannot really fit a water dish inside. And even if you can feed it, it won't be effective because it will be so small that water will just evaporate in a matter of hours. So if you use logic, how it is okay to keep uh, slings without a water dish? While in practice they will dehydrate far quicker than a juvenile tarantula or an adult tarantula, but when you keep adult tarantula without water dish, a lot of people will go, oh, you need to have water dish, tarantula needs to drink and blah 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 blah. But for slings, they also need to drink and they also need water and they also need humidity just like adults and as I said, they are more fragile than adults. And basically no one provides a water dish and that is okay. How does that make sense? I don't get it. <laughs> I would love that solution for this tarantula was just to have a water dish with it and that it would be fine. But from what you could see, what she what she gone through, it definitely wasn't a lack of water dish that killed her. So while I appreciate all the suggestions that I received from all of you that are writing all the nice stuff and everything, when it comes to water dishes, I just won't change my mind. And that's just how it is. Now to end this video with some something positive. 
In this enclosure we have Paras Fendale Agrionina Mantis and as you can see she molted and she's now bigger and I think that it is she. Let me just Google. I think when she got six, yeah, five segments female. So this is female because she got five segments or maybe six, I don't know, but she definitely doesn't have eight. Let me just try and get her from the enclosure unless she decides to be stubborn because she can kind of be defensive sometimes. Okay, got her. Here she is, check it out. She got actually wings, you see? And she's now bigger and prettier. Check the pattern, sweet, right? She stopped feeding for a few days, so I assume that she will molt and indeed, yesterday she molted. <laughs> it is so cool how, unlike tarantulas, mantises, they, they grow so much faster. The only downside is that they also, in the same time, live far, far shorter. Just like hamsters, unfortunately. Go, go, little girl. Until we meet again in next video. So I hope you, again, I cannot say I hope you enjoyed the video, but I hope that you were entertained. I upload every Monday and Friday. So see you again soon. Bye.